Hello. Good evening, good evening, everyone. I know it is not my usual night and it is definitely not my usual time. Um, so this is not going to be a long stream, but I did want to come back because this whole um, bad comparison has been on my mind since we were last together. Hello, Roslyn. Hello, Shadow Smith. Hello, Susan Butler. Um, if everyone would go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up, I appreciate you joining. I figured tonight was, um, it's NFL Thursday. And if you are an NFL fan, then maybe you can multitask or watch on replay. But if you're like me and not really following along, I thought this would be a good time for us to just get together and talk about bags. So if you were a part of last Sunday's stream or if you have watched the replay, Hi Clove007, then I am sure you know that I had a severe rant. Hello, Preon and rave over this Dooney and Burke laptop bag that was insufficient in holding an actual laptop. Well, I mentioned during that live stream that I had another Dooney and Burke laptop bag, Hi, Lissell, um, that I've had for a while that I've never used as a laptop bag because it too was insufficient in size. So I thought that tonight, before my battery goes dead and before I get nestled in for the night, that I would show you what the evolution, evolution, hello, Dr. Outdoors, what the evolution of this bag, the initial bag that I purchased looks like, and that you hopefully will be able to understand why it is as useless or was as useless then as the bag that I revealed this past week. So... Just as a refresher, hello, Mrs. Q. Um, the bag, pebbled leather, feet on the bottom, tassel design on the side, O-ring hardware, absolute perfect shoulder drop, zipper top, um, an untraditional line um, organization in the inside, plus it has the padded snap uh, pocket for the laptop, which the laptop will not fit in. So. That is just high level. If you are interested in seeing me rant and rave about this bag, go back and check out my last video. But I couldn't find, um, hi Rosie, I couldn't find on Sunday easily. Hello Noble, I couldn't easily find the first version of this bag that I purchased. I dug it out and I wanted to show it to you so that you could see how ineffective even the first version of this bag was so i am convinced that duty and burke does not intend for their laptop bags to accommodate laptops at best case scenario minis um or more appropriately tablets and not an ipad pro because that won't fit in them so this is the first bag Yes, yes, I bought it in black. It was going to be my professional work bag. It had some interesting details like this reinforced bottom that I was absolutely fascinated with because it was structured. The stitch work, I mean, the bottom of this bag is absolutely immaculate. I love the feet. I love the fact that that stitch work gives the bottom of this bag more reinforced. I have yet to find another Dooney and Burke bag in any collection on any bag style that has the bottom reinforced with the stitch work. I love this because I didn't have to, when I purchased it at least, because I didn't feel like the weight of my laptop would weigh the bottom of this bag. And you ladies know that a sagging bag is like the reason that our handbags are called like black holes and pits and um you know the obis because you can't ever find anything in it so i thought with my laptop being heavier with this bottom being reinforced not only with the stitch work but just in the base this was going to be a perfect bag my laptop at the time was a smaller laptop shoulder drop 
perfect. The shoulder drop on this one is even better than the one that I revealed on Sunday. It has the leather tag on, um, or the luggage tag. It has the tongue and loop closure. So um, not as secure as the zipper top on the latest version, but both of them are useless if you can't get a laptop in there. Um, but that's the hardware. On the inside, still, you see that? Still has the sticker even on the back wall because it hasn't been carried. Tag, when they were still tying the ribbons on, and I got this at the outlet and it's called the small laptop tote. That is exactly what it was intended for. So instead of the executive tassel tote, this one is actually called a small laptop tote, but it won't accommodate a small laptop. So I don't know what dimensions Peter is using to measure for these bags, but it is completely off. This bag, from an organization standpoint, no pocket, no zipper, no slip, no nothing on the back wall. Just a place for you to put um, a little of nothing. And now that I've, you know, further examined it now for years, because it's not even big enough for you to put a regular file folder in here. On the front wall... It has slip pockets, two slip pockets, so one, two, and then I don't know if you can tell, but there are tons of little stitch lines because there are individual pockets for like your pens or your highlighters, and they are super tight. So anything larger than like a hotel um, pen, you know, the ones that they have like these, Nothing larger than a than a basic big pen will fit in any of these slots. So if you're a big pen or fancy pen user like I am, this bag will not accommodate that in those slots. Mrs. Q, it has the leather key keeper and it has the gold tone hardware. That's just to show you how long, hi K Carrium, how long and how old this laptop bag is, but it's still useless. Zipper pocket on the laptop, on the padded laptop um, area. And they had even, they wrapped the registration card in tissue paper. I've, I, again, never used it because much like this case when I got it home, absolutely would not work. And I remember purchasing it from the outlet in Orlando. And just a basic pocket. Now, if I'm traveling with my iPad mini or even my regular size 10 inch iPad, I could use this. But... I don't use those devices for work, so um, I wouldn't necessarily travel personally with a small laptop bag for a weekend getaway or vacation. It's going to be in its case. It's going to be tossed in my purse. It's going to be, um, if I'm not the person driving, it's going to be my source of entertainment while um, I'm traveling. So this has just not been effective. Noble, if he did, then he was way ahead of his time because when I bought this thing, iPads were not introduced in the market. That's how long I've had um, this small laptop tote. So, just from, I'm going to see if I can get both of them in frame. But, small laptop tote that will not hold a small laptop executive size laptop tote will not hold a laptop so that probably was not the best comparison but this one is significantly larger than the black one both useless big shout out to my favorite Dooney and Burke outlet and uh, team in Aurora because I will be 
in Chicago next week and they are going to allow me um, to either exchange or to get a refund since the dimensions on the laptop bag will not work. So big shout out to uh, Candace and the team in Aurora. I talked to one of the essays um, there and she said, as long as you've got your receipt and it's within 30 days and it wasn't, um, you know, a final sale, just bring it in and we'll do, you know, whatever you want to do. So I am grateful for those relationships, happy to be on my way to Chicago so that I can get rid of that thing because it has been haunting me all week. Hello, hello, Gina. All right, Peter, you're, you're right, Rosalind, he should ask somebody or I'm sure at some point he has a laptop that he either emails about designs or production schedules or maybe he's actually... Um, you know, I don't know what he does on his computer, but he needs to shut it down and slide it in a sample bag or a prototype and realize that it is not the right dimensions and go back to the drawing board and continue to do that until the laptop, a normal size laptop slides in. You're absolutely right mrs q because a woman would not have made that mistake of creating a bag with a specified purpose and pocket and then it not be able to be used so all right next thing because i was all over the place on sunday i ended up doing the reveal of my uh florentine large murphy backpack in red um, because I'd taken it out and had planned to travel with it and then changed out of it. But what I wanted to do was to compare it. I've got 33 people and only nine thumbs up. Will you guys give me a thumbs up? I mean, it's a Thursday night. I've been at work. You're at work. You probably have already taken your clothes off. You probably don't have your bra or your shoes still on and I'm still full faced and get the girls in a harness. Show me a little bit of love because I'm ready to get out of this get up. But anyway, I wanted to do a size comparison between the large Hattie and the large Murphy backpack because just at first glance, I mean, I'm just keeping it real, Mrs. Q. Um, at first glance, I think that they are similar in size. I don't know. So much like that disaster on Sunday night, y'all see me try to force my laptop in a laptop bag that it won't work. I figured we would check tonight. So I just pulled uh, the Bone Hattie out and I've got my Murphy backpack down here and I'm going to get her snapped. And I just want to see, size-wise, did Peter take the silhouette, the style, the size of Hattie and just put some web straps on it and call it a backpack? So here is my gorgeous red Florentine Smooth Murphy backpack. And I am probably going to carry her this weekend. Um, I'm meeting up with some ladies to catch the movie, um, The Hate You Give. In the comments, has anyone seen that yet? Is it worth it? Don't, don't tell me the movie. Don't tell me any details. I just want to know if anyone has seen it. Was it worth it? Um, and if you haven't seen it but have plans to see it, let me know that in the comments as well. So, Murphy backpack, large Hattie, and comparison wise, Hattie is really large. Hattie makes the large Murphy backpack look like a medium backpack in comparison. Uh, from a, whew, like lifting weights, Florentine is heavy. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but from a size comparison, Hattie is definitely longer. And let me just check. The depth of the bag seemed to be about the same. The width. Let's 
see. Yeah, I think it's just Hattie is just a little bit longer. So a little bit more um, east, west. Definitely taller. If those two colors don't make you fall in love with Dunienberg Florentine, I just, I don't, I don't know what it's going to take for you to fall in love with the details of this brand. Dimensions of the laptop bag. As you know, we're, we're going to just exhale and forget about that for a minute. But this is absolutely fabulous. What I also want to show you is the drawstrings because people um, that have, people either love, in this community, people either love or hate a drawstring bag. And I should have pulled another bag that has um, a different drawstring on it, but I'm going to just show you with these bags. So, on the Murphy backpack, this drawstring has what I call the great divide. So there is security here with the stitch work in between the two drawstrings and that helps to keep the drawstring in place. It helps to control the slide, control the tension. It keeps the bag from opening unexpectedly. There are some bags that just don't have enough stitch work here in the middle. They only have like a single stitch and it's very loose. And the slide is, you're constantly fighting with the slide if you're trying to keep your bag closed. So I think Peter eventually figured that this approach or, you know, kind of a great divide, whatever the stitch work looks like, is the best way to control the tension on a drawstring. If you notice those uh, tassels as well as the actual cords on the drawstring are smooth, but they have that great Dunienberg stitch work and it loops through the outside of the bag. For those of you that wonder why I am so in love with the Buckley bag, it's because it is a drawstring bag that can be both a tote or you can kind of carry it as a satchel with the, the shorter handles. But the main reason that I love it is because you can't tell that it's a drawstring bag because all of this drawstring detailing is actually on the inside of the bag. So it gives, gives the bag, even though it's a drawstring, it gives it a much cleaner look. And for those of you that have not watched, um, the, the outlets are a bit behind in receiving their fall merchandise. Um, there are certain stores that are taking wait lists on the Buckley bag. There are both natural and black already in warehouses. Uh, so if you find a Duty and Burke outlet store that will um, order for you from the warehouse, black and natural are already available. But the other colors that are expected at the outlets um, will most likely not arrive until late November, December. There's even some discussion that those shipments could be delayed into early 2019. So it is the great hunt. Um, it's like going to be searching for last year's Easter egg, trying to figure out when these Buckley bags actually physically land in the outlet stores. Mrs. Q, you asked about the colors. Um, they have black, black, and they have natural. Those are the two colors right now that are available at the warehouses. But of course, we all know not every store is going to look at what's at the warehouse and ship to you. Um, and that's just the luck of a draw. I did not personally validate that information, but someone else in the tribe did. That is a credible source that has placed their order. I don't know which outlet they called that checked the warehouse for them. Um, otherwise, I would share that information. But unfortunately, I didn't make the call. Um, I didn't ask for the information because I already have natural and my um, tribe sisters 
uh, Sonja and Kimberly talked me off the ledge in getting black because I just know that I'm not going to carry it, even though I love that silhouette. So that's the drawstring on the Murphy backpack. On the large Hattie, we don't have a separate. Thanks, D. Blair says in the comments that the Vegas outlet will check the warehouse for you. So for anyone that was curious, um, call the Vegas store. Um, so this is another drawstring bag, of course, by Dooney. Large Florentine Hattie in the color bone. As you can tell, the drawstring is actually a closed loop. But there is also the great divide between the drawstring in addition to the great divide helping to control the slide on this drawstring the fact that this is a braided textured drawstring is also going to provide a little bit of resistance and tension as you're sliding which is going to help control um, the slide in the top of the bag i don't know yet because i have yet to carry this bag but whether or not um, the rubbing as you're tightening and releasing this bag if it's going to wear on either the loops on the actual bag so the holes in the leather that the braid goes through or if it's going to um, and maybe at some point with frequent use fray the actual uh, drawstring cord don't know that yet because I've not used my bag long enough um, in the other colors that I got to be able to determine whether or not there's wear what is unique about the um, drawstring on the Hattie that I have not seen on any of the other drawstring bags that I have in my collection is the fact that Peter put what I'm going to call a stopper on the drawstring. So remember on the, on the um, Murphy backpack, you have two ends with the tassels. Um, and those tassels are going to what are what's going to kind of act as the stopper to keep that drawstring from releasing from the holes in the bag. For this one, there are no ends. So to keep the drawstring from just circling around in the holes of the bag, there is the stopper here to keep it from moving to help minimize some of that wear. At least I think that is the intent. Um, but with more use, I will definitely figure that out. I love the fact that if you have not seen the Hattie in person, that each one of these drawstring holes is reinforced with stitch work around it um, to help minimize that wear. Um, the leather in here is kind of doubled so that it provides like a little smooth track for this braided leather to slide through. So that's where I am. Um, I will be on on Sunday. At least that is my plan. I have no clue yet what we're going to talk about, but I will be on. But I wanted to film this so that I could show you the comparison because as I am packing um, for next week, that will be uh, going back into its packaging so that I can um, relieve myself of it next week uh, while I'm in Chicago. If there is anybody in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area and you want to hang out next week at the Mall of America on either Monday night or even Tuesday night, send me um, an email to dooneyaddict615 at hotmail.com and let's connect. Um, if not, then I'm going to enjoy Mall of America anyway. I may try to live stream from my visit there. There's not a Dooney and Burke store. Um, but if you've never been to Mall of America, it is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal experience. It is like a retail therapy haven. It is a shopaholics dream and they don't charge taxes on apparel so i'm uh thinking that i'm going to do a little bit of warm weather shopping and then i will be off at the end of the week uh to chicago uh so sonja covington and i are going to try to connect and if not uh then i'll catch up with her um and ivana at a later time because I will be in and out of Chicago at least for uh, the next couple of months on a regular basis. So I'm so hoping that the Detroit and Illinois 
in Minnesota weather plays fairly with me because I don't know that I'm ready for that level of cold. So that's what I wanted to show you. The evolution of the useless laptop bag and the size comparison between the large Murphy backpack and the large Hattie. And then a dissection to show you kind of the evolution of uh, the drawstrings in the different Dooney and Burke lines. So that's all I have. I am ready to go get out of my bra and take my makeup off. So I'm going to let y'all go because I have not had dinner. But thank you so very much for hanging out with me for a little bit. If you would, please hit the thumbs up. Maybe it will encourage me the next time I'm home during the week, which is going to be a little ways off um, to jump back on and to give you something to do on a Thursday night. So that is all I have. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope that you find something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care.